Sterling, over the last month, the Giants have averaged about 25 points a game, which is more than double the output that you guys had during the first month of the season. What do you think the biggest improvement in the offense has been? And it could be a little detail or maybe something that we could all see from the outside. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, I mean, this is our first year in this offense, and it took a little time for everybody to get their feet settled in. And uh, I just I just think the preparation, the week of preparation that we've been having throughout these last few weeks has been spot on. I mean, guys have been locked in and keyed into their assignments. So uh, I'd say that is the main thing. From your perspective, how about your individual game as you now get back into melting yourself into the system? You would miss some time with that turf toe, but now it's all systems are go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to do the same, trying to be locked in on my, uh, on my assignments and uh, trying to just focus on, on those uh, as they come. So uh, whatever I can do to help the team, whether it's blocking, uh, catching balls, uh, whatever I can do, I'm going to do it. We've seen the blocks, by the way. <laughs> Got to keep them coming. Daniel Jones is in his second season. He continues to mature and develop. As a wide receiver, what can you do to assist that process along? Yeah, I think uh, just continue to do the same thing. I mean, the guys in the room, in the wide receiver room, we know that we have to get open. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of man coverage as well. So uh, to make his job a lot easier is if we can create some separation uh, and come down with the balls. I think that'll help build his confidence even more. Big picture, you guys have had a lot of close calls this season, but everybody talks about how Joe Judge has kept this team together and keeps the locker room inspired. What is it about him as a head coach, even in only his first year, that allows him to do that with you guys? I think it's the respect that he's built throughout the locker room. Um, I mean, guys really respect everything that he says. Um, I mean, he's he's been under some great coaches, uh, learned from a lot of great guys. So, uh, yeah, I think it all boils back down to, to the respect that everyone has for him. This week, you play a Washington team that is number one in the NFL in passing defense. Now, you didn't play them the other day when they were here at MetLife. What do you see from their pass defense that makes it so difficult to deal with? Yeah, we're kind of still getting into some of the the details in their defense, and honestly, they've they've uh, grown a lot as a team. So uh, we have a lot more studying to do. They're definitely not the same team that we played uh, earlier in the season. So uh, we're still doing some of the game plan and stuff, and uh, trying to get a, a good grip on these guys. Yeah, we all know that the best friend for a secondary is pressure from the front four, and you know that those guys are going to get after Daniel for sure. Oh yeah, we got to be uh, assignment sound and make sure that we pick up some of the blitzes that they're going to throw. Our way. One of the other things you notice about their defense, it stands out. They're amongst the NFL leaders in team interceptions. Do you consider them more of a gambling secondary or have they just had a lot of opportunities to turn the ball over on people? Yeah, I think it goes back down to the to the front four and then bringing pressure. You know, if you can get pressure on the quarterback and move them around, then uh, a lot of the times it can end up in some some misthrown balls and some off target balls. And uh, I think they've done a good job of capitalizing on that. So back to the point, uh, we have to be able to pick up some of the pressure that they're going to send our way and be able to handle it. Final question. I know you've watched some tape the last few weeks of what the, the uh, Washington team has done. Landon Collins, your former teammate, uh, he's now no longer in the lineup. He is a big-time player who can do a lot of different things. How different do you think their defense will be when you face them compared to what they had been doing earlier in the year when he was there? Uh, well, they, they moved um, 31 to, to Landon's spot. So he's, uh, he's replacing Landon, and they're kind of the same body type um, and kind of the same player. I mean, uh, you know, he, he'll still be in that box and uh, also play some post safety. So um, I don't see it changing much, but, but we don't know. Well, Sterling Shepard, we appreciate your time as always. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for stopping by. All right, thank you.